On the fateful day of April 20th, SpaceX made the bold move to launch its Starship Mega Rocket without a flame diverter or water deluge system. This left the launch pad and the surrounding areas vulnerably exposed to significant damage caused by hurtling dust and debris, painting a scene of destruction that was far from desirable. From that incident, the company learned an invaluable lesson and committed itself to proactively prevent a repeat. Its remedy of choice was the construction of an incredibly potent deluge system that was designed not just to protect, but also to enhance the safety and efficiency of future launches. Yesterday marked a significant milestone for SpaceX as this state-of-the-art deluge system underwent its first test. Powered by 33 state-of-the-art Raptor engines, Starship is capable of generating a staggering 17 million pounds of thrust. Such colossal energy output comes with its fair share of challenges, namely a massive surge of heat and noise that, if not properly managed, could lead to catastrophic outcomes. This is where the deluge system comes into play. Its function is to protect not only the Starship but also the launch mount, fondly referred to as Mechazilla, and the launch pad itself from the brutal acoustic and thermal conditions that accompany every launch. Its method is elegantly simple, yet profoundly effective. It drenches the launch pad with water during ignition and liftoff, serving as a heat and noise buffer. During the recent deluge system test, it displayed its immense capability by pumping thousands of gallons of water in less than a minute, proving its capacity to rapidly and efficiently deliver large volumes of water when it matters most. While SpaceX's deluge system boasts a remarkable capability, its output when compared to other contemporary systems reveals room for improvement. For instance, when stacked against NASA's sound suppression water system, designed for the space launch system, the deluge system is currently capable of delivering only about half the volume of water. It's crucial to put this comparison in perspective to fully understand the difference. NASA's system is a tried and tested system that has been fine-tuned over decades of space exploration. It's a crucial component in the launch process for the mighty space launch system, which stands as one of humanity's most ambitious rockets, intended to carry astronauts back to the moon and beyond. In this system, approximately 450,000 gallons of water are rapidly dispensed across the mobile launcher and flame diverter. Impressive volume of water serves not just as a thermal shield to protect the rocket and the surrounding infrastructure from heat damage, but also as a shock absorber to minimize the physical force of acoustic waves that could potentially harm the spacecraft or its occupants. Even though NASA's sound suppression water system can spray almost double the amount of water than SpaceX's deluge system, it doesn't mean that SpaceX's system isn't good it's important to remember that SpaceX is still testing and improving their system. After the first test of the deluge system, many water trucks were seen coming to the launch site all day. This tells us that SpaceX is preparing to do more tests in the future. In the next week, we can expect to see more tests. These tests will help SpaceX learn more about their water system. For example, they will likely do at least one more test where they put the system under a little bit of pressure to see how it handles stress. They might also do one or two tests where they put the system under full pressure, like it would experience during a real rocket launch. They'll also probably do a few static fires. This is where they fire up the rocket without actually launching it, just to see how everything works together. After these tests, they'll check the deluge system again to see if anything got damaged. One key aspect to underline is that the operational methodology of the SpaceX's deluge system is fundamentally different from those utilized at Cape Canaveral. At Cape Canaveral, the water systems have been designed primarily as sound suppression systems. They do this by releasing a huge volume of water during the launch, which helps dampen the shock waves produced by the thunderous rocket engines. This is not how SpaceX's system works. Instead of merely attempting to suppress sound, SpaceX's deluge system is designed to release water directly at the locations where it's needed the most. The water then serves a dual purpose. It absorbs the tremendous heat, and carries it away, thereby preventing damage from the extreme temperatures that are associated with rocket launches. Every single outlet or hole in the system needs to maintain an adequate level of water pressure. This is critical to ensure the water can flow against the opposing stagnation pressure produced by the rocket exhaust. Meanwhile, the primary task of dealing with the exhaust pressure itself falls upon the resilient steel plate which has been built to withstand the incredible forces exerted during a launch. 
After the previous launch incident in April, the anticipation has only increased. In anticipation of the next launch, SpaceX plans to implement a technique called hot staging. This term refers to a process where the engines on a rocket's upper stage start firing before the engines on the first stage booster have finished shutting down. This technique, already in use by the Russian space agency Roscosmos, might prevent Starship from losing control like in the previous flight. Musk also mentioned that this technique could boost the rocket's payload to orbit capacity by around 10%. So, when can we expect the next liftoff? Well, according to Musk, we might see the next launch in approximately six weeks. Musk announced this timeline on his Twitter account, adding that SpaceX is currently making improvements to its Starbase spaceport launch pad. The launch pad had sustained significant damage from the previous Starship launch, necessitating these upgrades. However, it's worth keeping in mind that Musk is known for setting ambitious timelines that don't always pan out. He is notorious for missing his own deadlines. Interestingly, he had also estimated a six-week gap before the next launch, right after the April 20th incident. So, while we hope the launch will take place in the proposed timeline, it's advisable to take it with a grain of salt. As they say, only time will tell when we will witness the next liftoff of SpaceX's Starship. The Deluge system, when viewed in context with the broader Starship project, demonstrates SpaceX's technological advancement. Starship is reminiscent of the 30-engine N-1 moon rocket of the Soviet Union, which infamously failed to launch successfully. One disastrous test in 1969 resulted in the largest explosion in space history. Consequently, the success or failure of Starship carries immense weight, with implications not only for SpaceX as a company, but also for the U.S. government's aspirations for human exploration. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.